Sega and Sonic Team. Yeah. Sega and Sonic Team! What are they doing with Sonic Frontiers? Why are they playing with our emotions? Are we in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Who's wearing the pants? Who's the one in charge of Sonic Frontiers marketing? Was it bad? Was it good? Why are we here? But most importantly, why why was Sonic Frontiers marketed like this? When I'm writing this script, this is obviously before the release of Sonic Frontiers, but closely after the worst marketing for a Sonic game we have ever had in the franchise. Be aware for the people in the future who watch this video when Sonic Frontiers come out. This is not a review of Sonic Frontiers, but instead we are diving into the controversy and bizarre decision behind Sega's marketing for Sonic Frontier. So we all need to ask this question, what actually caused all this fuss? It must have been the IGN preview, right? Oh, you poor Sonic fan. That is indeed the answer everyone has said, but instead it's actually months before. That infamous video. But instead of a fire, it's just a very small spark. The origin of this journey is actually the teaser trailer back in 2021. I know, right? The teaser trailer? That's insane! I completely agree. But why? It's just a teaser, and the teaser didn't seem all too bad, so what's wrong with it? I don't know. Sega and Sonic 2 said on Sonic Central's that they want 2021 to be the year of Sonic the Hedgehog, as they plan on releasing news every month of the year. That announcement was set at the beginning of the year, around May. Everyone was excited, and even I was. We are getting big Sonic news every month? That's insane! Goddamn right. Because on May, we got hit with the biggest video game news we have gotten in the past five years. On May 27, 2021, we was hit with two big reveals, Sonic Colors Ultimate and the Sonic Frontiers teaser trailer. And also, we got more Sonic Drip. Whoa, Sonic Colors is getting remastered? Finally, Sonic Colors is coming to PC and modern consoles. Wait, Sonic Origins? What is that? But wait, 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 hold on. What is this new trailer? We haven't seen anything like this. Where's the Minecraft trees? Are they gone? Wait a second, is that Sonic running? What is going on here? Why does Sonic's Steam trail look like that? What was he eating? Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube was all exploding. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! We were all very excited for this new teaser trailer and we're supposed to be getting more news soon? Oh yeah! 2021 is indeed gonna be the year of Sonic, I cannot wait! Is Sonic Central gonna happen? They told us more Sonic news is gonna happen. Oh, it's just people talking. Okay. Okay, we're Sonic Central. The podcast is constantly live, but it's not as interesting. I just want more Sonic news. Please, please, please. They told us that there would be Sonic news every month. I'm tired of seeing these same people talk about the most boring stuff ever. I just want Sonic news. I need. I don't care if it's cold or not. Finally, some Sonic news. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. But they only show a teaser trailer. How in the world were they gonna show Sonic news the entire year if they barely showed anything now? Hey, you promised, though. But promises are made to be broken, you know. <gasps> We can all agree that they released the Sonic Frontiers trailer a year too early and raised their expectations too high for that year. I assume that if they had not said that they're releasing news every month, it would have just been a regular teaser trailer. Releasing teaser trailers years before release is nothing new. Cyberpunk 2077 teaser trailer was more than 7 years before its release. But we are Sonic fans, and just like the blue blur, we are not patient. I'm waiting. Over time when Sonic Codes came out in mid-summer 2021, the game was getting pretty mixed reviews and not feeding the hunger that Sonic fans was craving for the past 5 years. The content was not enough. We needed more. And we began to question Sega and Sonic Team's work. Sonic Colors wasn't enough. We're Sonic Origins. We don't want more merch. We want games. We want Sonic Rangers news. For the people who forgot what Sonic Rangers is, it's actually the beta name for Sonic Frontiers. Wait, what is this concert? Steve Aoki? Um, okay. Seems like it's really cool. I'm sure they will reveal something pretty big at the end or during it. Oh, I was wrong. This is pretty <laughs> trash. Time. What is time? What would it lead us? Is Sonic over? Sonic, help me! 
The Sonic Origins and Sonic Rangers both canceled. Or are we waiting another five years? Only time will tell us. Time. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um. December 9th, 2021 came along and we finally got some good food. But luckily to Sega and especially Sonic Team, it was enough for the Sonic fandom to relax their inner demons for a good two months. Sonic Team clearly underestimated their fan base. They have finally made the Sonic fans less cautious, but that would not last long. Decades of media courts and bad releases with some shining lights in the clouds, Sonic fans kinda have an excuse to be cautious. Too bad they just proved our point. The Sonic fandom has been begging for gameplay for Sonic Frontiers for months. We have grown from blindly loving a Sonic game, sort of. But we all agreed that gameplay is what calms us down. So Sonic Team answered. We have been waiting for a long time, finally, finally gameplay, thank the lord, gameplay. Wait, it's on IGN? Don't they hate us? Okay, whatever, it's, it's just gameplay, it's gameplay. I am so hyped, I am so hyped. People were not hyped. This is the first time we have seen gameplay of Sonic Frontiers. At first we were delighted, amazed. Then longer we watched the gameplay, we started to realize how slow, empty, and jank the game looked. They played us like a damn fiddle! We were obviously scared. And the gameplay looked like trash. There is someone obviously to blame for this. Wait, it was all IGN's fault. They played the game the most boring way to make it look bad. Little that we knew. Sonic Team was laughing in the background as they always knew that they were the one who made the bad gameplay video. They tricked the entire Sonic fandom into thinking that it was IGN. Thinking about it, it was a pretty smart move. Sonic Team was one of the smartest villains in the video game industry, I tell you what. The stakes were high and IGN was sweating. They quickly said that this was not IGN gameplay, but instead Sonic Team's. That escalated quickly. That makes the situation worse. Luckily Sonic Team was fast, but not fast enough. For a good two days on Twitter and YouTube, everyone was saying that the gameplay looked like a fan game and it looked boring. Finally, they hired that man. Two days later, they released the combat trailer and it was slightly better, but people were still skeptical. That's boring. You're boring, everybody, said one side. The other side said it looked hype. Besides that tornado move, that thing looked straight up broken. <laughs> Summer Games Fest? Wait, they would have Sonic for Tears at Summer Games Fest? The entire world would see the gameplay. So that means that they would have to make the gameplay look amazing and change everyone's mind. It's 100% confirmed Sonic Frontiers would be there. Wait, hold on. It's just an extended version of Sonic Prime teaser? Um, okay, I I'm sure Sonic Frontiers is next. Wait, they said Sonic Frontiers is not going to be in Summer Games Fest? You're a liar. You're a liar. Wait, what is that? Enhance. Is that the demo of Sonic Frontiers at Summer Games Fest? I thought they said there was no Sonic Frontiers. What is going on here? Can we see live gameplay? Why won't Sega show us live gameplay? Seems like in a private showing at Summer Games Fest, only the people who have been invited are able to play the games at the private showing. The weird thing that almost all the games that were showed off in this private showing was also showing off updated gameplay on YouTube so everyone else was eating. Too bad we are Sonic fans. For some reason, Sonic Team hired a security to make sure that there would be no recorded footage of Sonic Frontiers at all. However, the people who were doing vlogs for other games accidentally got small snippets of gameplay in the background. So the Sonic fan had to go full CSI mode and try to analyze Sonic gameplay by only looking at the backgrounds of random people's videos. Yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty bad. We were desperate. Sonic Team kept teasing us. We wanted to be excited. Why won't they show us more. From what we found, we finally saw the UI, barely, and Green Hill Zone? For anyone who don't know, the Sonic fandom has grown tired of Green Hill Zone. It has been in every mainline Sonic game in the past decade. Everyone wants Sonic Team to stop nostalgia pandering and just be original. Quickly after we seen Green Hill Zone, we was told that there was a mysterious cyberspace level in the game, and it said that the levels were just from Sonic Generations and Sonic Forces so people were optimistic. At the moment this video is being made, we haven't got any official gameplay from the cyberspace levels yet, and knowing Sonic teams that there will be more problems and controversy, I probably would have to make a part 2. If you guys like this video, it would be awesome if you guys can like and leave a comment, including subscribing and sharing around my videos. I've been making some banger videos recently, and I hope you guys check that out. See you soon! Crazy!